What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from behind me, um, I have like a new vanity setup and everything like that. I have a new video coming up about my vanity room, like, you know, touring my vanity room and whatnot. So, you can see that very, very, very soon. I should be posting this one around the same time as that one comes out, I believe. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a really fun tutorial. I'm going to be doing a My March Favorites tutorial. I know that sounds really weird, but like, I have not really seen a lot of people do it. I've seen a lot of people do like, get ready with me with my favorite products, or like, this is my all-time favorite products, etc, etc. Like, I have not really seen a lot, I'm not saying that I'm the first, but I'm saying I haven't seen a lot of people do a get ready with me kind of like tutorial on everything that was like their March favorites, or their April favorites, or etc. Like, I haven't done a favorites video in freaking forever, and I just really want to do it because I really want to play with this palette. I want to play with this one again. This is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Eyeshadow Palette. We have this one. We have some Mega Revolution. We have some YSL. We also have some Anastasia. So, we have a few different products here and there that I'm going to be showcasing what my favorites are of the month of March. And, of course, doing this fun tutorial for you guys. So, anyways, if you want to see this tutorial on this product and seeing which ones are my favorite of the month, then keep on watching. We're just going to dive right in, so we're going to prime the face first before we go in with anything else. I'm going to use the Smashbox So Chill Coconut Photo Finish Priming Water. I've just been loving this one right now, recently, like... It feels so good, but at the same time, it feels so hydrating, but it smells amazing. Foundation, I'm going to go in with the YSL All Hours Foundation. I'm in the shade B10. I have been loving this foundation. I know this foundation is freaking expensive. But I am just really obsessed with the way that this foundation went on. And it goes on so smooth. It goes on so lightweight. But at the same time, it gives me enough coverage. And the best thing is, I can apply it with a brush. It has, like, this soft, like, cucumber smell to it as well. Which is amazing because I love, like, that. I love the smell of cucumber. So, I'm like, I actually really like the way this feels and the way it looks. It gives you such a nice full coverage without looking like it's cakey. And I love it. Like, I don't know what it is about this foundation, but I'm obsessed with it. Now, next up, we're gonna go in with my favorite concealer right now, especially for the month of March, and it is the Mega Revolution Conceal and Define concealer. I'm in the shade C1 for highlighting. I use the shade C3 for like my regular days, but this one I just use for the highlighted effect. Now that my concealer is on, it's time to bake, and I'm actually really enjoying this powder from number 7. This is the Perfect Light Loose Powder. It's hypoallergenic. It has pro-vitamin B5, vitamin E, um, and hyaluronic acid to help keep the skin hydrated. It's actually a really nice setting powder. Um, I absolutely love the way that it feels onto the skin as well. It doesn't feel like so matte, but it went on so smooth, which I actually like. Now let me just do a technique that I saw Tati do, where she just kind of you know, patted in her concealer so that she doesn't set any creases. I do not want to set any of my eye creases, thank you. I'd like to add some color back to my face. I'm going to be using the Pure 4-in-1 Blush Book. I've been loving this so much recently. Um, all the colors look really intimidating until you put them on, and then they look really, really soft. I'm just going to take the lightest shade, which is called Honest, right here. I'm just going to kind of swirl it and put it right onto the cheek. So, heavy blush is really in this spring, so I'm just going to go for it. Now, for a bronzer, we're going to go in with the balm, Take Home the Bronze in Oscar. I really love the packaging of this. I think the bronzer is phenomenal, and I'm absolutely just obsessed with it. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is one of my favorite techniques to apply bronzer. I'm just going to one, two, one, two, and put it on my face. Now, for highlight, Obviously, we're gonna go in with Anastasia and Reezy 
highlighter. This one I have been absolutely loving ever since it launched and I've just been obsessed with it and been wanting to put it all over my face. So now my brows are on, they're a little bit thicker than they usually are because I haven't got them waxed so I'm like mimitating like new thicker brows but whatever. Anyways, for eyeshadow, we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I have been dying to play with this one again because I know it is back in stock now, I think, on a few websites. Um, I know it's available on Morphe and I know it's available on Beautylish. I think coming back to Beautylish, I'm not exactly sure. I just know it's available on a, a few websites, so you can definitely still pick it up. So I just wanted to play with this one again because I just love this palette. It is so freaking pretty. So first off, we're going to go in with the shade right here, which is going to be called Sugarcane. I'm going to use that one just in the crease. Now for the rest of the crease, I'm going to go in with the shade Root Canal right here because it is just a stunning, vivid purple. And I want to go really ham with this color because I really just want to see how stunning it is on the eye. color is so vivid. A little technique that I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to take a, a pack on a little bit more of the pigment because this is pigmented bitch. Like this is pigmented. But I'm going to pack on a little bit more of the pigment and what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to go back in with the really really fluffy brush that I was using. I'm using the Morphe M504 which is like my favorite new crease brush. I'm just going to take that and just kind of soften the edges and just kind of blend it and make sure everything is very cohesive with each other because I do not want this to be like a too much of a harsh blend but I want this color to be very vivid still. The outer corners of my eye I'm going to go in with the shade Coma right here because I really want this to be like a really 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 vivid purple look so I'm just going to dive right into that shade on the outer corners because I want it to be a little, a little smoky. Now for a lid color, I'm going to go in with the Liquid Cat Suit from the Wet n Wild collection, um, Gothic Graphic, and that is in the shade Pure Intention. I have said this once and I'll say it again, I am absolutely obsessed with the formula of these, but at the same time I'm also obsessed with these colors. So of course I'm going to be using them a few more times, because I think they're just absolutely perfection. love the way that shines. I swear to god, these are so amazing. I'm gonna have to buy more of those Liquid Cat Suit eyeshadows. I'm gonna go in with Inner Corner Brow Bone Highlight before going in with the lower lash line. Um, and for my Inner Corner and Brow Bone Highlight, I actually really want to do um, the shade Sweetener right here in the middle. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Sweetener, but then I'm gonna add a little bit of the M Resi highlighter over top. That way I feel like it just pops a little bit more. lower lash line I'm gonna go in with the shade cavity right here the really 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 bright pink and then on the outer corners I'm just gonna go back in with the shade coma so now that the eyes are pretty much done I'm gonna throw on some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back to put on a lip with you guys now that the lashes are on I'm using the pure diva lashes and I actually love those as well as part of my you know Lovely favorite. I'm going to go in with a liquid lip color from Dose of Colors. This color particularly is not my absolute favorite like of the month, you know what I mean? But the entire collection of their formula, pretty much. Because I got a few of them recently, and this was one of them. So I really want to try this out. So this is the shade Mondays. Now that the lip is on, the look is complete, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this like monthly favorites, get ready with me kind of thing. I thought it'd be just so different because I've seen so many people do monthly favorites, but never done like a tutorial of their monthly favorites. You know what I mean? Like there's always videos of like my favorites right now, or like these are my go-to products, etc. But like I've never seen anybody do like a monthly favorites review-ish thing 
including like a tutorial of everything that you used. You know what I mean? I just I haven't seen that. But let's recap what we have. So the Smashbox Primer Water and So Chill Coconut. Absolutely love this product. You definitely have to pick this one up. We have the number seven Perfect Light Loose Powder, which I thought was really really nice. I picked this one up in England, but I do believe that you can still buy it in America as well. Um, we have the YSL All Hours Foundation. It doesn't look like this in America. This one I did pick up in England as well. You can pick this one up um, pretty much at Sephora stores. This one's fifty eight dollars, so it's definitely high up there. But it's one of those foundations that just worked for me, so I would recommend it highly because it does last all day. So next up we have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This one is in the shade C1. I recommend this concealer a lot. It's only $7 or I think it's like four pounds I believe. I'm somewhere around there. Um, you can pick this one up at Superdog if you live in the UK or you can pick this one up at Ulta if you live in America. Um, next up we have the Liquid Catsuit Mega Last Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Pure Intention. This one's phenomenal. I love all of the ones that came out in this collection, but if you want to pick up more of the colors, you can definitely pick this up at Ulta. If you want to pick up the Gothographic collection, you can pick it up at, I believe, like Rite Aid, CVS, and Walgreens. I'm not exactly sure where else. I know that you can pick it up on their website as well. Um, we have the Anastasia Emery Z Highlighter. I, I absolutely love this product. This one is $28. It is a gorgeous, blinding, blinding, blinding highlighter, and I'm obsessed with this one. So pick this up while you can, because I know it's selling out like hotcakes. Um, the Take Home the Bronze Oscar Bronzer from The Balm. I'm just obsessed with the packaging of it. I'm obsessed with this contour. It's just phenomenal product and I actually really love the way it chisels out your cheekbones. So we also have the Pure 401 Blush Book. This one is absolutely stunning. I believe this one's 34. Oh, and the bronzer is 17.50. Um, this one I believe is 34 and it's just absolutely stunning and it has colors for every single skin tone in here and I just feel like you just have a lot of options with it and you can mix and match the colors too because they're really, really, really soft when you use a light hand on them. The Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Eyeshadow Palette. I've already said this in my review and I'll say it again. This shit is bomb. Like, I love this palette. And I'm so happy I did, like, more of a pinky, purpley look with it. I will have to do, like, a neutral look with this. I'm not even kidding. I, I want to do, like, an Instagram video or, like, a getaway with me or whatever. I want to use, like, the neutral shades in here. I also want to use O Positive because that shade is so, like, pretty like gray tone color i want to do like a more of a like a smoky neutral natural-ish eye like just by this top row alone so i'm thinking about doing that sometime in the future but i love this palette this one's 54 dollars. it's such a gorgeous palette the packaging is so on point i love it so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the very near future love you bye